Keep on coming for Congressman-elect George Santos, the Republican from Long Island who got caught pretty much embellishing everything. he never been to college when he said he did. He noted his family perished in the Holocaust, but he's not actually Jewish, and he said the media was attacking him partly for being gay, even though he divorced a woman two years ago. Well, now Santos is speaking out, and he admits he lied about a few key points in an interview with NYC local radio station WABC, but skirts around much of the questions the public has been waiting for him to answer. Take a look as he fights back with some notably creative points. I'm not a fraud. I'm not a, a criminal. The congressman-elect George Santos admitting he did embellish his resume after a New York Times article exposed him, confessing to lying while running to represent the people of New York's 3rd District, which covers parts of northern Long Island and northeast Queens. The Republicans saying this on WABC Radio yesterday, a conservative talk radio show. And I'm not going to make excuses for this, but... A lot of people overstate in their resumes or um, twist a little bit or ingrandiate themselves. I'm not saying I'm not guilty of that. I'm just saying I've done so much good work in my career. The 34-year-old claimed to have worked for Goldman Sachs and Citigroup, but in an interview with the New York Post, he confessed he only worked for a company that did business with both of them. Santos also claimed to have graduated from Baruch in 2010, but now he says he never graduated from any house. I want to make sure that if I disappointed anyone by resume embellishment, I'm sorry. One thing is, I will be sworn in. I will take office. I will be able to be an effective member of the legislature. When I interviewed Santos in September about the historic election he was a part of, the first time two openly gay candidates were facing off in a general election for Congress, he talked about morals. And I, I've always said, we have a fundamental obligation and moral obligation to leave a better country for the next generation than when we found it. And I don't believe that that's the direction that the country's going in. Long Island Democrats have been calling for Santos to step down. Legislator Josh Lofanzin saying, quote, George Santos has now publicly admitted to what we have all known for a week. He is a liar and a fraud. Others wonder how both sides didn't do their homework better. Well, opposition research is is a key part of any campaign you know if they didn't know about this that it's that it is shocking 